Good morning, every teacher and student. I'm Dr. Lun Pan from Tianjin University. Uh, I must thank the conference committee to invite me to share our recent research work. Today, my topic is electro electronic structure modulation of photo or electrocatalysts for water splitting. Using the sustainable energy for the water splitting to produce hydrogen is very promising to overcome the current energy and environment crisis. For example, we can use the solar cells to absorb the solar to convert the solar energy into the electric power <coughs> and then split the water in hydrogen. The gas hydrogen can be stored or directly used in the vehicles to provide power. <coughs> and the product is only water, uh, which can be recycled to produce hydrogen. And uh, the produced hydrogen can also be used to reduce carbon dioxide to the hydrocarbon fuels. And these fuels can be further produced to more chemicals <clears throat> and the exhausted carbon dioxide can be recycled to uh, reduce the bad hydrogen to realize the circulation of the uh, carbon. Currently in China, uh, the hydrogen production is mainly from the fossil resources, like the reforming of the, the fossil resources. But as expected, uh, the can the, uh, the renewable or the sustainable <coughs> uh, hydrogen energy will be increased to 70% uh, in 2050. Actually, for the water splitting, there are two pathways. One is the photocatalysis, another is electrocatalysis. And the key points for these two processes are the highly efficient uh, catalysts. So for the first one, photocatalysis, it contains three steps. The light-induced charge carriers per, uh, per production, and uh, the charge transfer process and the surface redox re reactions. For the electrocatalysis, uh, it also contains three steps, the charge injection, charge transfer, and surface redox reaction. And for <coughs> these two processes, there are two same steps, that's charge transfer and surface redox reactions, and which are very important to, uh, very important for, a, for the catalyst efficiency. And uh, for the catalyst crystal, uh, how to enhance their uh, charge transfer or surface catalysis properties, we need to tune or optimize its bound structure, uh, correlation structure, or especially the electronic structures. For example, for the surface redox reaction, the surface absorp absorption is important. As shown in the sub-tier principles, the reactant uh, should be absorbed <coughs> on the cat catalyst uh, neither too strong nor too weak. So to realize the uh, suitable uh, Adsorption of the reactants and the suitable desorption of the products to realize the high efficiency of water splitting. The most used catalyst for uh, photocatalysis or electrocatalysis are the noble metal, like PT for HER reactions and uh, Rusnium or iridium dioxide for the OER process. <coughs> but uh, to further increase 
the cost effectiveness of the catalyst. We focus on the transitioned metal compounds. And today, my topic contains two parts. The first one is enhancement of electron spin polarization by metal vacancies. For the metal oxides, there are several defects, like the metal vacancy, the oxygen vacancy, the interstitial titanium, the interstitial oxygen. Uh, for the, for example, for the typical n-type semiconductor titanium dioxide, the introduction of oxygen vacancy is much easier than that of titanium defects. So the oxygen vacancy, vacancy is mostly studied for the titanium dioxide. Five years ago, we first successfully introduced the titanium vacancy in TiO2. The key point is react the glycerin and the titanium uh, resources to produce the layered precursor of TiO2. After the thermal coordination, uh, the carbon and hydrogen can be removed, and in the oxygen oxygen rich environment, we can obtain the titanium defected TiO2. The element uh, analysis confirm the titanium plus oxygen ratio is lower. The ratio of the defected uh, TiO2 is lower than the normal TiO2. Titanium vacancy in TiO2 can change the majority careers from the electron to the host. So the defected TiO2 shows the p-type conductivity. So this material can be used as the photocathode for the photocatalytic uh, hydrogen production. And the introduction of the defects can broaden the valence bonds of TiO2, which benefits the charge transfer and, the, and increase the charge separation efficiency. Therefore, the defected TiO2 shows much higher photoactivity uh, in the hydrogen evolution or the photodegradation. For example, in the photocatalytic hydrogen evolution, the defected TiO2 shows 4.4-fold increased activity than the normal TiO2. And uh, this sample also shows high stability and uh, photostability. Even this sample stored uh, is stored at room temp temperature for two years. This sample can also maintain its original photoactivity. This method can be also used to produce uh, other metal defected metal oxides like zinc oxide. <clears throat> and we first produce the precursor zinc glycerate. And this precursor is also in the layered structure. After the thermal calcination, we can obtain the zinc defected, defected zinc oxides. And uh, in the room temperature EPR spectra, we can find the strong signals of the zinc vacancy. And the concentration of zinc uh, vacancy is about uh, 20 to 30 higher <coughs> than the normal uh, oxygen vacancies. And we can also find the typical PL peak uh, in, the PL, in the steady state PL spectra. And importantly, the zinc defected zinc oxide shows higher photodegradation than the normal zinc oxide. We further applied this, this method to produce electrocatalysts like cobalt oxides. The introduction of cobalt vacancy will increase the oxidation states of cobalt. Uh, lower cobalt coordination number and higher mean square disorder. The cobalt vacancy will can increase the electrical 
conductivity of the material and the vacancy is con confirmed by the F DFT calculation uh, which can help to activate the water molecule for the better OER performance. So the metal vacancy in the metal oxides uh, can be introduced by the solved thermal and uh, uh, thermal calcination methods. But uh, there are still two questions that need to be addressed. How to control the concentration of metal defects? And what will the defects affect? Recently, we use TiO2 as an example uh, to tune the titanium defects concentration by controlling the terminated glossary groups of precursor. If we increase the glossary amount to, pro to produce the layered precursor, the precursor shows higher crystallization. And uh, the better crystallization will produce the final titanium dioxide with more uh, titanium defects. As shown in the lower figure, we can find that the, with the increase of the glossary amount during the synthesis of precursor, the produced titanium dioxide shows uh, gradually increased titanium defects concentration. But uh, with the increase of defects concentration, the concentration form uh, can be altered from the single size to the defects clusters. And uh, what are the effects of metal defects on the electric structure of TiO2? We find that the titanium vacancies can increase the spin polarization of TiO2. And uh, the sample TiO210 is uh, shows the highest spin polarization from the uh, char characterization and the uh, DFT calculations. The increase of spin polarization can inhibit photo-induced charges recombination and uh, increase the charge separation efficiency. During the light irradiation, the electron can be excited to the conduction bond of TiO2. If the material shows high spin polarization, the holes will maintain the same spin direction. During the excited electron transfer in the crystal, its spin direction will be altered. So in this case, the this kinds of electron cannot recombinate with the holes. So the charge separation efficiency can be increased. And the higher spin polarization can also increase the reaction selectivity. The, the holes with the same spin direction can withdraw the same kinds of electron from the reactant. And the formed free radicals contain the same electrons with the same spin directions. So these kinds of radicals cannot uh, uh, combinate to form the byproducts of the water splitting. So it will increase the reaction selection. Therefore, therefore we finally found the spin polarization dependent photocatalysis and the sample TiO210 shows the best spin polarization and the best photocatalysis. Interesting, interestingly, the uh, metal defected TiO2 also shows the magnetic field dependent activity. That is, the external magnetic fields can increase the photo activity, especially for the best sample, sample TiO210.
The second part is the adsorption modulation of reactant inter intermediate by electron spin state. The water splitting contains two parts. First is HER, the hydrogen elution reaction. For the surface cataly cataly catalysis, uh, the most important is the, adsorb the adsorption of hydrogen containers vessels. So the metal hydrogen bond strength should be suitable for the suitable adsorption of reactant and the desorption of the product. For example, we produce the hollow cobalt based uh, sulfides. The hollow structure can provide high air, air surface area for the cat catalytic uh, uh, reaction. And uh, we use the morph earth precursor and the template to produce the sample. But uh, it is not the key point. The key point is we uh, uh, uniformly dope another metal uh, into the cobalt sulfide to tune the cobalt hydrogen bond. We choose zinc and nickel and uh, the copper. And the zinc and nickel doping shows the, um, shows the uh, benefit effect. And uh, they can tune the uh, bond of cobalt and hydrogen to the direction of platinum. That is weak the cobalt hydrogen bond. Accordingly, the zinc or the nickel doped cobalt sulfide shows uh, the shows very good HER performance. The performance can be compared with the platinum. <coughs> and importantly, these samples can be used in all pH value solutions. And also, we uh, deposit this bimetallic sulfides on the photocatalyst as the co-catalyst. And also, this shows a comparable performance with the platinum. And it also shows good stability. Similar for MO based sample. The bond of MO and hydrogen is also too strong. So we deposit cobalt on this material to lower the hydrogen adsorption. And the cobalt can also increase the conductivity of the material. And the, form, the formed surface cobalt hydroxyls can help to activate the molecule, water molecule. Therefore, the produced samples shows uh, the compar comparable HER activity with the noble metals. OER is another part of water splitting, and uh, the key is the key point is the adsorption of oxygen condensed species. And the metal oxides like the cobalt oxides are also used. Uh, usually used as the OER catalyst. For these kinds of materials, they always they shows high spin and low spin states. So the different spin states will change the adsorption uh, strength of the reactants and the product. For example, for the high spin states. Uh, it will happen the weak adsorption, and for the low spin state, uh, it will happen the strong adsorption. From the sub tier principle, we need to provide the suitable adsorption of the reactants for the better activity. The first uh, sample is the trivalent iron. It uh, normally shows the high spin states, so it uh, 
shows uh, the very weak absorption of the reactants. Also, it shows very low <coughs> uh, activity for the water splitting. So we use, so we designed uh, and uh, use we designed a new structure and use titanium to tune the electron density of trivalent iron. And the calculation finds that the debound center of trivalent iron and uh, the titanium will move close to each other and nar narrow the bound gap of the sample. And in this case, the low spin state of trivalent iron appears. Uh, in the in the experimental, <coughs> how to produce these kinds of material? We first uh, fabricate the ultra thin TiO2 nano belt and use this nano belt as the support to absorb iron. And uh, then, after the oxidation, we can produce the trivalent iron. Uh, automatically deposited the TiO2. This kind of active size shows the superparamagnetic pro uh, properties. And uh, from the DFC FC characterization, we can simulate the AD orbit uh, electron field. Our produced sample, uh, iron UTN, shows the low spin states with its AG value of 1.09. But if we de deposit the iron oxides on the uh, TiO2 nano belt, <coughs> its AG uh, value is about 1.56. So, uh, so the sample of iron UTN shows the enhanced absorption of the oxygen containing species like the oxygen TPD. So, the modulation of the spin state of trivalent iron from the high spin state to the low spin state significantly enhanced its OER performance and it shows the activity higher than the noble metal oxides. And also this sample shows a very good stability. Furthermore, uh, we can also tune the spin state of iron oxides. We use the special confinement, special uh, confinement to produce the highly distributed iron oxides. And we use the support is silicon oxides. The strong the intra interaction between the iron oxides and the silicon or silicon oxides can significantly increase the oxidation balance of the irons. And the sample shows the very strong and fast chemical absorption of the oxygen containing onions. Another another case is a manganese material. This material normally shows the low spin states, so it shows very strong absorption of oxygen contain continuous species. So it is not a benefit for the desorption uh, of the products. Uh, to increase the spin states of manganese, uh, we used the uh, uh, fast cell methods to dope the manganese in the six chlorinated vacuum of carbon nitrate. 
to form the manganese nitrogen carbon clusters. The characterization confirms the homogeneous distribution of the manganese in the cluster. And the suitable doping of manganese uh, make this metal shows the high spin states. This kind of cluster are used as the photocatalyst for overall water splitting. And the activity and the performance confirm that the sample with a value of 0.95 show the best photocatalytic OER performance. Therefore, the spin <coughs> states of the transition metal compounds can be tuned to realize the suitable adsorption of reactant and the desorption of the products to realize the high performance of photocatalytic water splitting or the electro electrochemical water splitting. Uh, using the best sample as a catalyst for overall water splitting, it shows the high uh, appearance quantum equi equi efficiency of 4%. So, through tuning the uh, electron spin polarization and the spin states of the material, we enhanced the change transfer and the surface adsorption during the water splitting. And we obtained several uh, highly efficient photocatalysts or the electrocatalysts. We are recently invited to publish several reviews about the defects structures, HER or LER catalysts and the piezo effects on the photocatalysis and uh, uh, the topic about the co-catalyst for the photocatalysis. Uh, finally, I must thank NSFC and the Ministry of Education for the financial support for our research work. Here is our, the photo of our group and the PI is Professor Ji Junzhou. And our group contains two professors, one associate professor and one assistant professor. I'm very sorry that I cannot go to the conference personally, uh, but I uh, hope the conference can be uh, held successfully. And uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me. Here is my email address. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.